babies and toddlers, hindi pa naman yan masyadong aware sa mga feelings nila, much more kung ano yung word para dun sa feelings nila. So it's so good to help them identify it with things that they kind of have an idea about, like animals. Sometimes I'm a baby bear. Sometimes I'm a snail. Ways to say how we feel by Moira Butterfield and Gwen Millward. Sometimes I'm a bouncy puppy. I feel like playing with everyone, joining in and having fun. Today's a day when I want to play. Sometimes I'm a snail inside my shell. I'd rather be quiet and on my own. I'm fine playing games alone. Don't worry, I'm happy. Sometimes my friend is a snail too. She wants to be quiet. That's okay. I'll play with her another day. Sometimes I'm a baby bear who loves getting big hugs. Do I want a cuddly squeeze? Yes, please. Hurrah, it's a bear hug day. Sometimes I'm a no hug bird. I'd rather stay in my tree. Right now, a hug is not for me. It's fine, by the way, to feel this way. Sometimes my friend is a no-hug bird. She doesn't want cuddles and that's okay. We'll have our hugs another day. Sometimes instead of giving hugs, I'd rather be a blowfish. I'll blow you a kiss just like this. Here comes my kiss, catch. Sometimes I'm a fearless lion. I feel as brave as brave can be. Everybody, look at me. I feel like I can do anything when I'm a lion. Roar! Sometimes I'm a tiny mouse. I feel a little bit scared and shy about things I'm asked to try. We all have days when we feel this way. Sometimes my friend's a tiny mouse. She feels shy too, just like I do. So I tell her something that I try. I can sometimes change how I feel in my head by pretending to be a lion instead. We can be like lots of animals, cross like a grumpy gorilla, excited like a dolphin leaping, Sad like a dog with droopy eyes. If you want to tell someone how you feel, you can say you're like an animal too. A bear, a snail, or a bird maybe, just like my friend and me. Today, we're both happy cats. So making comparisons with animals and the characteristics of animals can help them kind of identify, ah, ganun pala yung nararamdaman ko. And that having feelings, big or small, they're all okay. What's important is that we know that there are things that we can do about the way that we feel. And also to use words to tell other people about the way that we feel. Kasi nakita natin, di ba, kahit yung bata, nag adjust dun sa moods and the feelings of the other children. And that can show them, you can do it too. 
So if you enjoyed, sometimes I'm a baby bear, sometimes I'm a snail, you can go to my playlist at Teacher K Talks on YouTube where I have a bunch of other read-alongs and stories that you can watch and listen to with your kids. If this was helpful, you can also follow, like, share, save everything from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Teacher K Talks. And hanggang sa muli, happy talking! Mabuha!